everyone. We are so excited today to talk to you about our new book that's being released called Step Into the Spotlight to Expand Your Influence and Attract the Right Clients. My name is Colleen Biggs, and I am the founder of Lead Up for Women. And I am the one that compiled this book and got these amazing ladies together, handpicking them to bring all the tips and practical tricks to you for you to be able to apply to your business, for you to be able to step into the spotlight, expand your influence. So many of us are out there hustling to try and figure out how to get the right clients when if you would just show up everywhere, you'll attract the like-minded people that you want to work with to you. And this book is full of chapters for you to be able to do that. And I'd like to start first by introducing our very first author in the book, Allison Lewis. Allison, please take the stage. Hello, everyone. I am Allison, and I'm so happy to be in this book with all these amazing women. Like um, Colleen said, my name is Allison, and I am a blogger, social media influencer, absolutely alley. So I've built up my following from zero to 100K, and I do collaborations with a lot of brands national and international. So that took me to another place where I had people asking me questions about social media. So I started another business called Absolutely Social, where I help other people build up their brands and their businesses on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. As you all know, you all need to have a presence on all social media in order to get your brand and your business out there. So this stepping into the spotlight is right up my alley because I feel like I'm in the spotlight through social media. So I wrote my chapter about how to become who you want to be. So it's called create who you want to become. So often times we've kind of been told and kind of conformed to who we are supposed to be as, um, as our parents have told us, as society has told us. I want us to step out of that and step into the spotlight and create who you really are. Learn about yourself, learn what you want to do, learn your gifts and give those to other people. You have to create your lifestyle. You have to create your brand. And in order to do that, you have to figure out what your gifts are. So in my chapter, I talk about how you can create you and create your brand. Um, I love working with other people and I love helping people through social media and everything. So you can find me at absolutelyally.com, A-L-L-I. And then I have a great giveaway in the book that you all can get when you get the book. It's called Seven Steps to Social Media Success. So if you get the book, you get that, get that download to help you become and create who you want to be, especially through social media. So that's my chapter. I hope you enjoy it. Allie's incredible. Didn't mute myself. You know, that's the word of 2020, 2021. So I want all of you to uh, definitely dive in and go check out her chapter. Um, I met Allie not too long ago, and she's just an incredible female, uh, such a powerhouse. She has literally done so well that she wound up leaving corporate America. And we'll tell you all about that in her book and is now doing this full time. So Allie, we love you. And thank you so much for being part of this book. Um, the you. next person that I wanted to bring up that is not here today is Carrie Connolly. And uh, Carrie Connolly is a vision expert. And in her, in her chapter, um, which is Your Vision, Your Guide, um, she talks all about why vision can be that total anchor for you in the storm. Uh, you know, she's been an Arbonne, um, worked her way up the ranks in Arbonne for 25 years. Uh, she lost her husband and her son both to suicide. And she tells her story uh, in her chapter of how vision uh, can help you uh, through any storm. Also, she talks a lot about how creating the vision is so important for you in your business. So many of us have dreams and all of these wildly crazy things that we want to to do and per, uh, pursue yet without having that vision written down and then making those into tangible goals, uh, we tend to just be flailing around without a direction. And so her chapter gives you all about direction and you can find Carrie on carrieconnolly.com. And she also gives away a bunch of free gifts in her chapter. Um, the ladies are very generous. So she will be doing that as well. 
Um, I'd also like to jump in and talk to you really quickly about my chapter, which is be seen, be heard and be visible. You know, I created Lead Up for Women for that reason, for all women to be able to be seen, be heard and be visible. And no matter what has happened in your life and the hurdles that you've had to overcome, uh, we all have the opportunity to be heard and to be seen. And if it's one thing I've learned in over 20 years of coaching and uh, launching over 300 and some businesses is this. If you are not seen and you are not heard, you are bankrupt. This is the number one thing in your business that will help you excel to success is being seen everywhere. So every chapter in this book, including mine, I'm going to give you an additional seven uh, secret steps on where you should be seen and how you can become visible. And you'll be able to get that free download as well as a whole bunch of extra downloads of individual interviews that I've done with every single one of these authors uh, leading up to the launch of this book today uh, on that page. So of course, you'll have to get that from my chapter. Okay, I wanna go ahead and introduce our next one. I'm not so sure um, if she, well, I don't think she's uh, able to speak right now. So I'm gonna jump into Emily Harmon. Emily, I know you are here. So I'm going to jump into you and have you talk all about your book and, and a little tidbits of why you did that. Thank you, Colleen. Yes, my chapter is on putting yourself first. Have you ever been buried under a mound of responsibilities and kind of lost your dreams along the way, forgotten who you are, forgotten what you want out of life? Um, that happened to me. And when I retired from working for the Navy, in May of 2019, I went on an inward journey, did a lot of inner work. Um, and that's something that I discuss in my chapter about how to put yourself first, how to remember what your dreams were, what they are now. And um, I'm excited to be a part of this book with all these amazing authors. And if you read my chapter, when you get the book, you can find a link to um, some downloads. One of them is a value setting workbook. In order to put ourselves first, we really need to know what our values are and let that guide us. When I worked for the Navy, I knew what the Navy's values were, but mine are important too. Yours are important too. So you can connect with me on LinkedIn and my website is emilyharman, H-A-R-M-A-N.com. I unmuted myself first. Thank you so much, Emily, for sharing that. And I want to personally thank you so much for, for taking the leap and being in this book and putting yourself out there and your stories and being so vulnerable in your chapter and bringing all your wisdom and experience with you and pouring it into the book for people to, to really step into the spotlight for themselves. So thank you so thank much, you, Emily, Emily, for being with us today. And uh, I also wanted to mention that Danella Burnett is uh, a really good friend of mine. She has a chapter in this book, and I know she wasn't able to join us today. And I just, you know, she talks all about monetizing your message from stage. She has a huge community of speakers. And if one what? of the best ways for you to be seen and heard is one to many, one to many means your one time of being on that stage, you reach many people. And there's so many ways to do that. But speaking is one of the best ways because the spotlight is on you for as long as you are on that platform speaking. And she's a good friend of mine. She's my event planner. She also does uh, event planning. And her chapter is all about really the strategic specific pieces that you need to have a very impactful speech to motivate and inspire and really push uh, people to uh, go to the next step for them to be able to be impactful and take what they know and to be able to utilize that to impact many thousands, even hundreds of thousands of people. So please dive into her chapter about monetizing your message uh, from stage. And um, our next, uh, our next uh, individual author that I'd like to bring to the stage is going to be Jen Duplessis. So let me go ahead and add Jen here. And Jen, please dive in and tell us all about your message. I know you have multiple books as well. You're, you're, this is easy for you to do, but um, I'm honored that you stepped in to share with us um, the secrets for, um, for your chapter um, and all about the balancing act. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Colleen. And thank you to everybody else. You know, it's always wonderful to collaborate with people. I think we get further ahead in the world when we do collaboration rather than competition, when we collaborate rather than go into our little island that we do as entrepreneurs so often. So thank you so much for asking me to be part of this um, beautiful um, project. So hi, everyone. My name is Jen Duplessis. And I'm not being highlighted. There we go. I wasn't sure if I was live or not. I keep trying to spotlight <laughs> you, but I can't figure out why you're not I'm coming up. As... There we go. That's okay. I see. Yeah. Well, it's good to see. it's good to meet all of you. I'm known as America's lifestyle uh, lifestyle business master, and that means putting your lifestyle before your business, which is why I wrote this chapter on the balancing act. Because as you read it, you will find out I actually don't believe in it at all. Um, I am a podcaster. I'm a mentor. I'm an international speaker. I'm a TEDx talker. I'm a TV show host as well of Tell Me I Can't, and uh, I just can't wait to share with you about about the fallacy and the myth of balancing. The reason we can't balance is because it doesn't exist. There's no such thing as balance. So when you're out of balance and you're able to focus and be present in everything that you do one at a time, that's when the magic happens. So my chapter is all about that. And at the end of the chapter, my uh, gift to you is the seven strategies to change your mindset in your business. It's a, a way for you to assess and think through, what do I really want? What do I want, woman, to really, really grow your business? And once you have those priorities in effect and you start priority management, you'll find that there's no such thing as balance and it never even mattered. So I am delighted to be part of this. You can reach me at jenduplessis.com. And of course, like everybody else, I'm all over the internet at jenduplessis. Thank you so much, Jen. And sorry about that with that technical issue there, okay. but everyone got to see your smiling, beautiful <laughs> face. Uh, you look gorgeous today. And thank you so much for sharing your experience and wisdom with our uh, readers. We thank you so much. I appreciate that. And uh, I want to go ahead and bring up Danella Burnett. I saw that you are uh, up here. So I'm going to bring you up. There you are, lady. I just talked a little bit about you. Um, so please share, you know, your website, how people can reach out to you and dive in just for a minute about your, your chapter. And I did share a little bit about you in your chapter already, but I'd love for you to dive in a little bit more. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And thanks for covering for me. You know, we've got a, a big thing going on with Colleen this week, her big three day event. So talk about stepping out into the spotlight. We will be stepping out into the spotlight together for a big three day event this week, which is what my chapter is about speaking and events. When you are ready to grow your business, when you're ready to share your message with the world, when you're ready to have endless leads, clients, and really grow your business, speaking and events are the best way for you to leverage your time to speak to many. You can speak for free, you can get paid to speak, you can pay to speak for the right opportunities. And when you take the right speaking opportunities and you monetize them in the right way, it is the perfect way to share your message with the world and have the right people raise their hand and say, yes, I want more. I wanna do work with you. I want more of your content. And then events are really a way for you to leverage your own platform. Speaking is leveraging someone else's platform that they've brought together for you and with you. And your own event is how you leverage your own platform so you can go deeper and further and ask for more of a sale. So that's what my chapter is about. Um, you may have noticed in, in the last 18 months, the speaking and event industry has changed a little bit. And we wanna make sure that you've got all the latest information to take advantage of that. So my free gift in my chapter is our Crush It From The Stage checklist so that you can be prepared profitable and ready to have rock any stage and get the maximum from that opportunity. So definitely get the book, connect with these amazing ladies and cannot wait to see you on the stages of the world. I love that crushing it from stage, right? That's what it's all about. Just crushing it from stage. Uh, so thank you so much, Danella. And thank you for being my event planner and helping me uh, realize a dream that I've been wanting to put together of a three-day event. So thank you so much for being supportive of that. And I'm going to encourage everyone again to make sure you jump and dive into Danella's free uh, offers that she has for you and her giveaways. 
So Danella, yeah, thanks for being I don't think I mentioned, um, our two businesses are Encore Elite Events and Speakers Need to Speak. So you can find us on both of those uh, on social media and those are our websites. Look forward to connecting. Thank you, Danella, so much. All right, Katrina, get on up here. I'm gonna add you as a spotlight next to me. Katrina Sawa is not only a good friend of mine, uh, she's also uh, an author in this book, but many don't know that she published this book as well for me. She's the publisher and her company has published this book for us. So Katrina, I'm going to give you the spotlight now to talk all about your chapter um, and what it means to you. Thanks, Colleen. And I'm excited to be in the book with all of you. Uh, stepping into the spotlight was something I always yearned for as a kid. Uh, as an only child, uh, you can imagine you try to get attention everywhere, right? So I was not scared of the spotlight. And my, uh, so my business is jumpstartyourbiznow.com is the main business coaching website that I have with events and products. And I help people make more money, get started with their business. Um, I help seasoned business owners get more leverage, more systems and all that kind of stuff. But I recently started the publishing company too, jumpstartpublishing.net. And so I'm excited because this is really, well, it's the second book that I've launched for somebody else. So it's kind of fun uh, to see all the authors. It's fun to see new authors get published. Um, and part of what I wrote about in my chapter is how to jumpstart yourself as the online authority. And an authority to me is really uh, being out there. It's being out there, being the leader, being visible. Uh, if you want to really build a successful business and or reach a lot of people with your message and make a bigger impact, you need to be an authority, period. And that usually means making sure that you position yourself as the expert in many different ways, your website, your social media presence, uh, your confidence, your image, uh, your photos, everything you're doing. So I talk a lot about how to do that in my chapter and why it's so important. And even for those introverts who don't want to be in the spotlight, it is so critical to be an online authority. And and then at the end of the chapter, I give away uh, four really cool online trainings. Actually, I package them all together because I just wanted to give a whole bunch of stuff. So how to jumpstart yourself as a speaker, how to become an author, marketing basics, and even a call with me. So you definitely have to go buy the book because look at all the free stuff you're going to get, you guys. Not only is the book going to be amazing, but you're going to get a whole bunch of free stuff from all of us amazing authors. So uh, definitely check it out. That's awesome, Katrina. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for your guidance through this, for it to be a success um, and for all of us to be able to step into the spotlight in this book. So thank you so much for your guidance. Uh, I didn't have the opportunity to mention that Eve Kyle, one of our authors, wasn't able to be with us today. She's in the middle of moving her beautiful family uh, to a different state because her husband had accepted uh, another position in a different company. You know, life is what it is. It throws balls at us whenever it throws the balls. And then you just either catch them and roll with it or you don't. And I told her, don't even worry about it. Uh, you need to take care of your family because that's what's important, right? Just like Jen said, there's no balancing, right? You need to put your priorities where your priorities are, and that's where her priority is today. But I didn't want this to go unnoticed that her chapter about believing you can and you will is so crucial because we all have character strengths. And Eve really dives into us uncovering and peeling back the, the layers of what are your character strengths? What is, what are you strong in? You know, so much in society, everyone focuses on the things you're not good in, right? Children get a C or a D or an F, and we're constantly talking to them about the C or the D or the F. Why don't we ever ask them about the A's, you know? And she really dives in in her chapter about understanding your strengths, leverage those strengths, leverage those for what you do, how you make an impact, how you run your life. And life is gonna be a lot easier when you leverage your strengths. So she's got some free giveaways. I know she has a, a survey that you can take to really understand what your personal strengths are. And she dives deep into that uh, in her chapter. So be sure to grab the book to be able to Leverage your strengths because that's going to cut the hustle. When you know what you're strong at, those are the things you should be focusing on. As much as everyone tells you, you need to build up your skills in the other areas, perfect what you're good at first, and then you can work on the things that you need a little work on. So let me go ahead and introduce our next author 
who is Dr. Laura Cobb. Get on up here with me uh, and let's talk about your chapter and, uh, and what it means to you to step into the spotlight. Thanks, Colleen. My chapter is on stepping into your why. As a child, the youngest of six, I never felt like I was part of the spotlight. I was under the covers or I was just hidden from sight and <clears throat> didn't feel like I had my voice. <clears throat> like, I don't know, excuse me. So my chapter is mostly about how do you actually get seen? How do you feel seen? And what do you want? Why do you want it? And what are you gonna do about going to get it? Essentially, it's consider this. There's three frogs on a log. Two decide to jump. How many are left? Three. Why? Because two decided to jump off. They didn't jump off. Stepping into your why and stepping into your spotlight, into the spotlight is important because you have to take action. Without action, dreams are just wishless nothings. There, there's no activation. So you have to be active. And with 100% intention, that's what it takes to obtain a goal. So the intention over time, these shifts create the beliefs that will ultimately empower us to create a purposeful life. I've cultivated a purpose-driven life over four decades to date myself. So I've set goals, sure. What's the process going about getting those goals? Is it the end goal or is it the process along the journey that really matters? And I love what was mentioned earlier about balancing. There is no balance. You have to prioritize and set straight what is in your life important to you and those of your loved ones. So when you get to the end of your life, you're not wondering what's your why. You don't worry about who hears you. So I'm an international speaker, university professor, family advocate against domestic violence, sexual assault, and human trafficking. And what I do is I empower ambitious and creative professional women to suit up and show up so they can speak up and step up in leaders in every boardroom, classroom, and bedroom so that they can become the best version of themselves in work and life to move in the direction of their purpose, their mission, and their dreams by making powerful connections, creating critical support systems and aligning their values with the necessary and practical tools for them to feel so full of themselves that they cannot help but nourish others from the overflow. I implore you to get this book, read all the chapters, go to all the authors, free giveaways, including mine at my website, www.drlauralifecoach.com and you'll find out how can you make the most of your life by finding and fulfilling, discovering your life purpose. Thank you, Dr. Laura, so much for being here with us today and pouring your heart into your chapter so that you can motivate and inspire others uh, to ensure that they're taking the leap that they need in their lives to really, you know, be happy and lead the lives we desire. I feel like we have so many things covered already in this book and all of these chapters. Um, it's incredible that we still have two uh, authors left. And the next author that wasn't able to be with us today is Teresa Sperling. And just like Danella really helps you with doing your own events and taking this, the stages of other people's events. Uh, Teresa Sperling has been a uh, speaker trainer for over 20 years of her life. And what you say when you're on that stage is just as not more important than getting on the stage. So she helps you really break down your message, the clarity of your message, the intent of your message, why you're there. What do you want your audience to walk away feeling? What do you want them to do? So just like Danella, Teresa really dives into the golden nuggets of your actual speech so that you understand what you're saying is so influential when you're on that stage. So unfortunately, she wasn't able to be with us today, but I know she has a lot of free giveaways as well. Uh, so you would want to dive into her chapter. And let me get to our last author here that I have on the list, which is going to be Miss Trisha Perido. I love Trisha. She's been a great friend of mine, member of Lead Up for Women, and uh, she's overcome some deep hurdles in her life and has put a lot of that into her chapter for her to be able to motivate and inspire others with her story. So Trisha, please feel free to share that with all of us. Good morning, everybody, or afternoon or evening, whatever time of day it is. Um, my name is Trisha Perido, and I am, as you can, haven't noticed already, I'm super enthusiastic. I am a recovery lifestyle enthusiast. I am an effective life skill breather, and I'm a fierce optimist that everybody can live the life that they desire. It gets to look, feel, be however they want it to. They just have to choose. But the, the deal is this, and, and bear with me because as a master addiction specialist, you're probably going, 
I don't get what you're going to come in here and tell me about my business and how I should be able to do it. And that is because, and, and excuse my dogs also, I, I have studied all things process, behavioral, and chemical addiction. So if, if the chemical piece doesn't fit for you, that's fine because I'm going to tell you what process or behavior you're doing that you are totally addicted to, holding on to, and allowing it to hold you hostage. So my chapter, How Living Life Without Habits Fixes Everything, is a don't miss, especially if you've ever felt like your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, your opinions, your beliefs, your needs, wants, dreams, desires aren't seen as valid, holding any value. And if you've walked in a life that ever has made you feel dismissible or disposable, you've got to look at this chapter. I give you oh, a good solid amount of steps to follow. And in the free gift, I'm actually going to be giving you access to a three-part series that's gonna walk you through every single one of them. And there's more. So you'll have to buy the chapter and follow the link just so you can see why working with a master addiction specialist, or at least listening to what I have to say, will actually impact your life and change things completely. It's true. Anyway, that's what I got. I've gotten a lot of aha moments being around Trisha, where she's like, yep, that's an addiction. I'm like, she's right. It is an addiction. So it's just amazing to us how much we just go through life and don't even realize like, you're right. That was an addiction. So Trisha, Thank you so much for pouring your heart and soul out into your chapter um, and giving all of the advice that you give and sharing your wisdom and experiences and being vulnerable, brave, and courageous in uh, your chapter. I, I forgot to mention, just type in my name, trishaperdo.com, or you can go to trishaperdo.com forward slash book launch and, and you'll be able to read about, read about it and sign up. I love it. Thank you so much, Trisha, for being here today. All right, so I want to bring back up real quick uh, Katrina Sawa with me since she is our publisher. Today's the day, ladies. So today is the day. The book launches today, and we need all of your help to purchase this book uh, so we can become a number one bestseller. That is our plan. We've got this. And Katrina, where do they go? What do they do? Tell me all about it. So if you can't see the links and you're just watching this video, you can go to tinyurl, T-I-N-Y-U-R-L dot com forward slash spotlight U-S. That'll take you to the U-S book launch page and you can buy the book there. You can share this video. That would be very helpful. You could say, hey, support our, the, my friend's book launch. Uh, you can share the video. You could share the post that you see on any one of our profiles. You'll see posts with the book launch and the links. And all you need to do is share that. That would be really super helpful because we're going for international bestseller, not just bestseller. Yep. International bestseller means we need to be a bestseller in multiple countries. So we need Canadians. We need Australians. We need UK. We need everybody out there. Uh, to buy the book, please, please, please. That's why we reduced the price to 99 cents so that you could um, buy it and not even think twice about it. And then if you get the book, please speed read through it, like forward, just forward through the whole thing. I mean, you can read it, of course, but then go and put a review on Amazon. Okay. Like that's an extra favor. That's an extra step favor that we would love if you could review the book, because that helps our status on Amazon as well, but you do have to buy it first. And then of course, go get all the free stuff. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So Katrina, thank you again so much. Authors, thank all of you so much for uh, being here today with us. I'm going to see if I can uh, remove all the spotlights uh, so that we can see everybody and we have the view of the gallery. Here's uh, some of our authors that are left here. Please support us and go check out our book and uh, step into the spotlight for yourself so that you can expand your influence and attract the right clients. Having a business does not have to be hard. It can be fun. It can be easy. It can be enjoyable and you can make an impact on millions. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you for supporting us from the bottom of our heart. We appreciate your support uh, and we, we know you will enjoy the read. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye now.